uh, George, tell me a little bit about the part you play in the Son of the Bride of Gudis. Oh, the Fukin Loon? Yeah. Well, the Fukin Loon is this Irish guy who's actually quite crazy. Back in the day, he was a fisherman in Ireland. And one overcast day, he felt something strange being pulled up in the nets, and the gulls were going crazy. And as he turns around, he gets his net on board, he sees what he thinks is a corpse. So, he goes to get on the radio to call for help, but because of the overcast skies, he gets no signal whatsoever. Then he turns around again, and what he sees takes his breath away. The most beautiful eyes he's ever gazed into are looking back at him from that moment. And what he realizes is he's caught himself a silky, a seal, that on land sheds its seal coat and turns into a human. And as he's gazing upon this silk, she sheds her seal skin, and before him is the most beautiful creature he has ever seen in his life. And he asks her, what is your name, love? And all she gives him is a song. So he names her Tegan, which in Gaelic means beautiful. When he comes back, he marries her. He decides, I'm going to marry this woman. But the problem with the silky is, they can only stay for seven years, and then they have to return to the sea. And what they do is they take their sealed coat and they bury it in their secret spot. So they know where to find it. They can put it back on and return to the sea. But one night he spies her burying this seal skin. So he knows where it is. He has a great idea. I'm going to dig it up. I'm going to wrap it up in my suitcase. And I'm going to take her to Florida for a honeymoon. And then I'm going to throw this seal skin in the river. And she'll never be able to return to the sea because we'll go back to Ireland. And, you know. But on one drunken night on their honeymoon, they're at this boathouse, they had rented a little cabin on the river, and he passes out drunk and she finds the skin and realizes what he was up to. And in a rage, she dons her seal coat again and dives right into the river and swims off. And he catches her right when she's diving in and she vanishes. And he has been there for years ever since waiting on her return. And he has sworn off life until she returns to him. That's about all I'm going to say about it. And so this is this is what the the, the Bride of Gudis movie is about? No.